Uh, so we've got as far as the gates of the uh, school at Dunblane and uh, your uh, piping teacher there was... It was piping to John Mackenzie. John Mackenzie from Campbellton. From, uh, Campbellton. Yeah. Who uh, John Wilson and uh, William McCallum speak of in glowing terms mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and uh, you'll, you'll hear, yeah. if you want to go back people to see these interviews, you'll hear more about John McKenzie as well, but mm -hmm. uh, he taught you at mm -hmm. Dunblane uh, quite, for quite a while? Well, all the time I was there, from 9 till I was 17. And did he cover um, all the, the forms of music, the Peebrook, everything? I uh, didn't redo Peebrook. No? Okay, right. Um, and I wasn't particularly interested in it. Mm -hmm. It kind of it didn't rest with me. Aye. Okay. Well, and, and uh, I remember I played in the Scottish Amateur Championships. Uh, you know, won them. Uh, it was about fifteen or something. Mm -hmm. And well, the only thing I didn't play in was the people competition. Yep. Uh huh. Which was a shame because I could have I could have uh, learned a, a short people, but I wasn't. Was there anything John, John more to didn't be? didn't push me either because yeah. he, he, no. I think he probably knew deep down that I didn't Aye. really. All right, so that's what happens. Thank you. Hey, is there much more to be said about than Blaine? Then hey, should we cover more there or just move on? Um, we we had a we had a pipe band as well. Oh, there was, of course, we had to. Everyone yes. had to play pipes or take up drums or take up dancing for the first two years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then once you got into secondary school, it was up to you whether you continued as a drummer or a dancer or a piper. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a band room there and you could go down half an hour before lunch and you could maybe you'd have an hour once a week uh, formal uh, pipe band work, mm -hmm. pipe band um, practice. And there were other times, so it was it was a great escape for me. Aye. I would go away and play, and I was I loved it. It was my escape from well, being in this kind of uh, quasi military regime. But uh, your other studies would come on uh, quite well, really, yeah. Yeah. Aye. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> were there any other teachers uh, of, uh, that you had? Well, in the summertime, uh, Pipe Major Angus's father would would be around. He'd come home, come home, and he'd be he was crazy on fishing, uh -huh. fishing the lochs, and he'd often sit and we'd go over tunes and Aye. play the must in the chanter. But he was great encouragement. Yeah, you know, you're talking about encouragement is really the, yes. the crucial thing at that Aye. time. And uh, and of course, Pipe Major Angus himself was a mm -hmm. great. He'd come up and uh, and hear his hear him, and of course, fantastic. There was, there was no, uh, there wasn't anyone else I could uh, relate to. But a wonderful atmosphere to play the Highland pipe, just the the locus where it should be played out there in the locks and the glens and. That's my mental picture. Was am I well out there? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was the actuality? And you couldn't put your head out the door and sell it for the uh, midges. The midges, uh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it's a nice image. Mm hmm. Yes, yeah. well. I've heard it, I've heard it said uh, many times too. Uh, and you've heard it. Too. I have. Since it's this, I love the pipes. Aye. It, it's almost like a butt. <laughs> I, I, I used to anything before but is bullshit. I, I used to take the, the pipes across the Isle of Col. My wife's mother was from there and I go out and play at the log side of Peebrook, you see? Mm -hmm. And it was five minutes you were eaten alive. Right. And it was a, a battle every evening, you know, who's gonna win well it's how fast you could play to finish the tune, you know, and get the hell out of it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I, I would, from about 10, 11, I can't remember when I started playing at the, they, had, they would have local competitions at the Highland Games. 
Yeah. So the local games were Glenfinnan. Uh -huh. That was the main. They were the main. Still big games game. yet. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. And Arisig. Arisig. Beautiful setting. Yeah. And the, the looking over the, the sands yeah. there. And yeah. Fantastic. But funny enough, I don't, uh, I don't have any memories of uh, getting swarmed by midges in the middle of a peevrach or in the middle of... No, middle because of it was coastal and a wee bit breezy, so yeah, yeah. Uh, perhaps that yeah. was uh, the, the cure, just to, the, the breeze to blow away the insects and just yeah. allow you to go on with your tune, eh? Uh, well, South Uwes is particularly bad for the, for the flies. Aye. I remember having to stop. This one, my, my nostril, and oh. they were particularly bad. In here. But it's wide open to the Atlantic and the, the Macher there at South East. Yeah. And fun enough, yeah. uh, David Murray commented on that just uh, when I, I spoke to him. Mm. And, uh, it was quite funny, you know. There's no hiding place there from the rain and the wind when it comes down uh, yeah. during the games. Yeah.